Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker and I'm very excited for today's episode because I'm going back to the Guatkin Cider Company to try another of their ciders and if you saw my unboxing video a little while back you'll know exactly which one that is today's cider is their single variety Kingston Black now as you all well know from my other Guatkin Cider reviews, I absolutely love this company. They have not done a single bad cider yet, and I'm hoping that this one is not going to break their streak. But you never know until they actually get to the tasting. It could be bad, it could be good. We will find out. But until then, let me go and give you some details on Guatkin Kingston Black Cider. Guatkin Kingston Black Cider comes in these 500ml bottles and I do believe that is the only way you can get it unless you do find it in certain real ale festivals across the country. The alcohol percentage is 7% in volume so we've got a, quite a hefty cider here guys. As it says on the front of the bottle it's a dry farmhouse cider and the price is well on the Guatkin website you can get a 12 case for 36 quid which works out at about 3 quid a bottle. However, on the Bristol Cider Shop website, you can get it for much cheaper, coming in at about £2.60 a bottle. So it definitely pays to look around, guys. Now, as with all the other single variety ciders that Guat can do, it does have this really, really lovely watercolour sort of style painting on the front of the label to differentiate it between all the other types of ciders that, that uh, Guat can do. But the way to tell the difference between the single variety ciders is obviously to look at the cap and look at the back of the label, with the uh, Kingston Black going for a very appropriate black design. Uh, but yeah, once you've seen one single variety cider label, you've pretty much seen them all, so check my other reviews to see what I think of them. So what have we got here? Quad King Kingston Black, traditional farmhouse dry cider, best served chilled, pour slowly to avoid disturbing the natural sediment, and... This is where one of the good things comes in, because, having checked the bottle, it definitely does contain little bits of natural sediment, which is absolutely awesome. I love sediment in ciders, so that's a showing of a real true cider here. Matured in oak barrels with natural yeasts. So, um, yes, I'm going to just pour this one really, really slowly. Anyway, on the other side, it has a really, really long description, so let's just see. The Kingston Black Apple is the most famous apple in the cider-making world. Dating back centuries, the variety originated in Somerset, but by the 1800s it had spread all over England and Wales. A favourite with the old farming communities and their traditional way of cider making, often kept for the vintage house cider and drunk on special occasions. There have been various new strains of this variety grown, but none to match the taste of the old. Well, if that doesn't get your taste buds wet, I don't know what will. So... Without further ado, well, let me go and get this bottle of Guatkin Kingston Black open. There we go. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, I can smell it already. Nice old uh, little bit of carbonisation there. That's always good. So, oh, let's get a whiff of this. Wow. <laughs> oh, that smells lovely. Really deep, rich, dry smells coming here. You can just almost like smell the tannins coming off of this. And obviously single variety ciders are a great way to tell the difference between um, the, the different types of apples that these cider makers use. So it's always really good to try out single variety ciders every now and again just to see what they smell and taste like. And what you're getting from Kingston Black is, as I say, just really deep, rich, dry, almost slightly astringent notes as well. But, oh, that smells absolutely lovely. So, I am not going to waste any more time, and I'm going to very, very slowly pour this into the glass. It does say, pour slowly to avoid disturbing the natural sediment, so I shall do just that. I know some people are a bit, uh, a bit funny with sediment in ciders, saying that uh, they don't really like it in there. But you know what? I say balls to that. I like my sediment in my cider, so... It's going in. There we go. Alright, well, if you haven't seen the colour yet, here we go. Guatkin Kingston Black. Look at that colour. Such a really, really deep, almost, um, almost like a dark rum colour. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Very, very light carbonisation there too. Um, you can't really see the natural sediment, but believe me, it is definitely in there. What a lovely looking cider this is. So, let's get a whiff in the glass now. Mmm. Now, that just 
Oh, that just oozes quality right there. Again, you can kind of smell the tannins, you can smell the dryness, so it's really doing the Kingston Black Apple proud here. Mmm. Now, I'm wondering if this, this is going to have the uh, Guatkin taste, because a couple of the sizes I've had, I've had that slight aftertaste of nail varnish, which isn't bad, it just sounds a bit weird. I'm wondering if this is going to have it. Let's find out, shall we? Cheers, guys, and here's the Guatkin Kingston Black. Oh, 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 yes. Wow. Oh, oh Guatkin, you have done it again. Um, yes, the Guatkin taste is definitely there. I don't know what they do with their um, with their ciders, but it just has the distinctive Guatkin taste to it that just is prevalent in pretty much all of their ciders. Oh, wow, the aftertastes that are coming off of this as well. This is amazing. Okay, well, the initial taste is... In, you know, very, very dry, as it says on the front of the bottle there. Um, but again, not um, not forcibly so. You, don't, you know, it doesn't make your mouth feel really parched afterwards. Um, you're getting a slight zinginess to the uh, initial taste too. And, oh, I might just have to go in for a second opinion for this, because, oh, this is lovely. Mmm. There's a really uh, low undertone. You can uh, slightly taste the acidity to it, but it's not uh, detracting from any of the cider at all. And you can really, really taste the oak in the aftertaste. It's so prevalent at the back of it. And it just lingers at the back of your throat so long. It's one of these, it just, well, to savour the flavour is an understatement. This is one that you just, well, take as much time as you want over it. Although, uh, you, could put, you could probably tell just by looking at the colour that this is going to be absolutely flowing with tannins, and it really, really is. In fact, most Somerset ciders are pretty high in tannins, so you do expect a dry, almost sort of astringent taste to them. But, oh, the King, Guatkin Kingston Black does it so, so well. <sighs> I knew I had high hopes for this one, and it hasn't disappointed, I can tell you. Let's get another taste. Mm. It's also very full-bodied without being syrupy, as real cider should do, because it's got nothing artificial added to it, so you're not getting any of this, you know, that you get at the, at the back of your throat with these industrial ciders. You get that, that gumminess. Definitely, definitely not here. Um, be interesting to know if not adding the sediment to it would have uh, changed the taste any, in any way, but in any case, just add the sediment to this because this just is oozing so many flavours and so many tastes. This is just absolutely a real corker. Get another one. Hmm. Yeah, there's um there's a real real zinginess all the way through this um as you're tasting it. Which is obviously, uh, the, sed the sediment's obviously um, working its way around your mouth as well and just filling all your taste buds up with this amazing, as I say, you know, pretty, pretty dry astringent aroma. But as I say, I'm actually feeling really refreshed right now. R um, other than like some of the other dry sides I've had, they've made my mouth feel really, really dry and parched, meaning that you've got to take another sip straight away. This one, this is one that you can just... Well, just savour as long as you want, and I'm definitely going to do that. I will say it does taste like a 7%er. You can uh, get that real kick, especially um, after you've actually downed your, downed your however many gulps you've just taken. It really um, hits at the back of your throat, along with uh, the oak characteristics. And uh, it just culminates into an absolutely amazing little cider that we've got here, too. Oh, Guatkin, when are you going to stop making these brilliant, brilliant ciders? In fact, don't stop making them, please. I beg you, don't stop them. Now, obviously, I forgot to mention that, uh, yes, this does contain, contain sulfites, but obviously that's just to preserve freshness and there's only a trace of them. So, nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, oh, Guatkin, well, what else is there to say? I mean, just the whole package on this cider is just absolutely amazing. 
and uh, I actually think it's up with up there with the Arlington Mill cider that I had ages ago with uh, being one of my favourite ciders that I've ever had. This is just absolutely incredible. Mm. Again, you'd be mistaken um, looking at this cider if this was uh, like a almost like a rum aged cider. Because I had one at the uh, Colchester Ale Festival, which was a very similar colour to this, but it was um, aged in rum vats, and that was that was actually lovely too. I wish I could get it more often, but um, no, make no mistake here. This is a pure, unadulterated, real cider that we have here. Absolutely amazing. Well, I don't think I need to, but I'm going to get a final taste before the final verdict. in your little beauty. So yeah, it has all those characteristics, but again, it has that that symbolic Guatkin taste to it as well. Just a, a slight hint of, again, it sounds so weird when I'm saying this, but it has a slight hint of, like, nail polish. Nail polish remover. And um, obviously, most people are going to get turned away by that, thinking, oh my god, what the, what the hell is this guy thinking about? I'm not buying this. But don't let that description fool you. It just doesn't deter you from having this cider at all. It is just absolutely amazing and one that you should definitely go out and get a bottle of right now. So, for a verdict, again, do I really need to say this? Guatkin Kingston Black Cider very easily gets a 9.5 out of 10 and the cider drinker seal of approval. Hey, hey, there we go. As I said, I can't do seal of approvals. If anyone can, please let me know. But yes, Guatkin, keep up the streak because so far you have not disappointed me at all. Easily, one of my favourite cider companies out there. I might say Kingston Black, one of your single variety ciders, is easily one of my favourite ciders out there too. So, with that said, that is another episode of The Cider Drinker over and done with. Hope you enjoyed it because bloody hell I certainly have. Until next time, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider. But until then, I am going to go and enjoy this absolutely beautiful bottle of Guatkin Kingston Black Cider. Take care, guys. Until next time. <laughs>